mean, as a team, you're not trying not to think about that stuff, you know, going into a game, you know, because it just adds more pressure to what you, you know, you want to play. I mean, I really don't have any opinion on of my own. I mean, it'd be nice to beat them sometime. It can kind of describe what footing was like out there. It was a little slippery, but you know, you just gotta adapt at the end of the day. I mean, Coach Lee said it perfectly when he was, uh, he talked about how, you know, some of us want to play professionally, maybe, and you know, it snows all the time up in places like Green Bay, Minnesota, so. Wide receiver Kyle Sweet. Anything else for eight? Question for Kyle Sweet. Kyle, how tough is that offense to run? But you can't get your foot in. I mean, we all saw the conditions. Just how different does that make things? Uh, it's definitely a factor. Um, but you know, we uh, we try and pride ourselves on on being able to do what we do in those conditions. So uh, yeah, it was it was a little bit of a a frustrating game. Uh, it, like you said, it's snow. It's hard to play, you know, it's hard to keep your foot in and, uh, Yeah, it, I think it was definitely a factor. Kyle, compared to the speed of the Husky defense to other defenses that you guys have faced this year? Uh, they're a good D, uh, absolutely. They're a, they're a disciplined unit, and, uh, you know, I think we've seen a couple defenses like them. Um, but I think it was just us, you know, not being able to, to do our job. At the end of the day. How hard is it to see them kind of after the game walk onto the field, kind of make snow angels, and you've kind of, kind of seen this three times before? Is it kind of an image that, that, that kind of sticks with you for a pretty long time? A little bit. I saw uh, I saw a little bit of that, um, but I wasn't trying to put, I was trying to just take in every second I could in, in Martin Stadium while I was uh, still out there and, you know, just thinking about all the the great times that we've had as a team here and you know how uh, how blessed I am to be able to be a part of this team. Yeah, Kyle, I, I believe you've been been a captain for for a while. I mean what was that what's that been like and what was it like kind of going out there again kind of that one last time um, for the game? Uh, it, it was definitely a little emotional. Um, you know, I try not to let emotions come into play. Um, but it you know it's tough to think that that was the last time that <clears throat> I'll be playing in Martin Stadium, you know, along with the the other 16 seniors. Um, but yeah, we just try and uh, just try and give everything we have for them. You know, they they've given so much to this program, uh, you know, and turned it into a pretty pretty dang good program um, the past couple of years. So it's definitely emotional. Uh, but we got one more game. Kyle, what's your message to the younger guys? I mean, you know, upperclassmen, some of these younger guys coming in, probably. Ticked off right now. What as a senior leader? What, what are you telling right now after a loss like this? Um, just keep your head up. You know, is is the main the main point here. Uh, they we got a lot of talented young guys, and you know, if, if they can if they can keep their head in it and you know be tough and physical, then we're gonna have a good good program from here on out. Anything else for Kyle? I'll talk about Gardner and just the, the impact that he had and maybe how that changed expectations going into the year and, and kind of how this year turned out uh, versus maybe what you thought going in. Yeah, I, Gardner, I can't say enough about Gardner. Um, you know, he's, he's a hell of a quarterback, but the thing that people don't see is the intangibles. Like, he just rallies us, you know, want, makes us want to play for him and makes us love the game of football. Um, and it was tough for him to come in with, the unfortunate circumstances that uh, happened earlier this year, but he, it didn't, it didn't seem like it faced him at all. But he was just, you know, there for us whenever we needed, and um, he, he was just a, a great friend and a, a guy to lean on. You know, he'll, he'll always pick you up. Um, it's always you over him. You know, he's, he's the most selfless person that I've ever met in my life, um, and I can't, you know, I can't say enough how. How thankful we are as a program to have had him. Kyle, was there a certain point that you you realized with, with Gardner was here that like, oh, we're going to be okay? That like, you know, we've we've got somebody that's that's going to keep us going. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think, you know, even before he got here, I I, I 
thought that we were going to be okay just because, uh, you know, we were playing for something bigger than ourselves this year. Um, but like I said, <clears throat> it's hard to, it's hard to say what Gardner means to us. Um, you know, I mean, <laughs> I guess the first game we really knew like, okay, this, this guy's a hell of a a player, um, you know. So, like I said, we're just really lucky to have Gardner. Do you think he deserves a trip to New York for the Heisman ceremony? Absolutely, hundred percent. I think, uh, you know, going back to the uh, previous statement, I uh, he's not just a, a heck of a quarterback, but he's just an incredible person too. You know, he he makes everyone better around him. Thanks, Kyle. Thank you, Scott. That's it.